I've known and worked with Arlene for over 30 years. In the 1980s, I was the director of the Learning Disabilities Program at FDU, and I was looking for an effective method for training teachers to teach reading to students with dyslexia. Um, I attended Arlene's workshop in a meeting at New York City of what was then called the Orton Gillingham Society. It's now called the International Dyslexia Association. Anyhow, 10 minutes into the workshop, I knew that this was the method that I was looking for, and this is the person who could help me bring this training to Fairleigh Dickinson. As Judy Shapiro, one of our now senior faculty points out, from early on in the 80s, when Orton Gillingham was little known, Arlene Sunday was one of the few individuals who shed light on how to teach reading to dyslexic individuals using Orton Gillingham. And Judy adds, thankfully, I was one of the lucky recipients who in the 1980s received training from Arlene. We became good friends as we worked many long days together. She would always stay at my house because she was very mindful of keeping costs for our fledgling program to a minimum. Arlene is a quintessential teacher. As Barbara McAuliffe, one of our senior faculty states, if she just has a piece of paper and a pencil, she can teach anything. To this day, it is her words that I hear in my head when I'm teaching a child. I've told her she is my hero. Arlene is unflappable. I've observed her in very challenging circumstances. Well, for one thing, teaching our 12-hour workshop, she had a sprained ankle the whole time. Um, I've witnessed her confidently coming to our new work setting, overseeing difficult board meetings, taking all in her stride. She's generous to a fault. In a professional world with so many proprietary interests, Arlene is generous with both her time and her materials. Emerson Dickman, who's a longtime friend and associate of Arlene's, former IDA president and an attorney who advocates for children with disabilities. This is what he says. I know some who feel special simply to have met, heard, or even seen her from a distance. In the field of teaching reading, Arlene is a rock star. She stands above the crowd, figuratively and literally. Her contribution to children who have an unexpected difficulty learning how to read is incalculable. Arlene and Ralph Sunday are two wonderful people who have made the world a better place for all. In my program alone, as a result of her training, we have trained about 900 teachers. We estimate that each of those teachers teaches a minimum of 15 students a year for a minimum of 10 years. So her dedication to children with dyslexia and the work she did to train teachers had, has had a major impact on many people's lives. Just in my program alone, 135,000 children. Arlene has served as an inspiration to many teachers and to many who have become trainers of teachers and leaders in our field. Our appreciation for her tireless efforts are expressed by senior faculty member, Georgette Dickman. Arlene, you are a rare and amazing teacher. Thank you for taking me under your wing. Thank you for being my mentor. Thank you for being my friend. And most of all, thank you for being my inspiration. Congratulations, Arlene, on this recognition that you're getting from your alma mater. You certainly more than deserve it.